Hello guys, I'm Azhar and in this video I will show you how to make your own Wi-Fi controlled car which will be controlled through your Android phone. But before starting I will recommend you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload such interesting projects. So let's get started. So for this project you will need a Node MCU, a L298 motor driver, a switch, a base and a four geared motors with wheel and a battery. So here I am using four 18650 batteries. I have connected two in series. So this, these two and these two are in series and they four are in parallel then. Right? So now let's talk about its connections so here we have these two motors and these two motors so these two motors will be considered as one left motor and these two motors will be considered as one right motor as an our motor driver we can connect only two motors as you can see we have out one out two out three and out four so we can connect uh, one motor to this and one motor to this. So uh, I am here using these two motors. So I will connect these two motors to this and these two motors to this. So for this, what will you do? You will connect the positive of the both the motors here, here like this. So we have positives of both the motors here. So what will we do? We will connect it to the out one. As in the code, we have pins N1, N2, N3 and N4. So the positive of the left motor is defined is on N1 here. So it will be connected here to out one. Right. So we have connected the positive of these two motors. Now we have the negative. So here we have these two voids. So here we have both the negatives of these motors. So I will connect it to the out two. So our left motors are connected. Now we will connect the right motors in the same way. I have a detailed video over this module, how to run motors with this module. So you can check it, uh, the link will be at the top. So now we have these two right motors. So we will connect their positives here. These both wires are their positives. So we will connect them and we will connect them to the out three. So as you can see here, our positives of the right motors are connected to out 3. Now we will connect the negatives of right motors to out 4. So now our motors are connected to our driver. Now we have to connect these pins to the node MCU. So in the node MCU we have some PWM pins. PWM means pulse width modulation. So we have these pins over here. Uh, here we have the enable A pin N1, N2, N3, N4 and the enable B. So these two pins enable A and enable B will be connected to the PWM pins and these pins can be connected to digital or uh, analog both pins. So let's connect them. So for this I am using these male to female jumper wires. I will connect them here. So as you can see our enable A pin is this uh, brown one. So I will connect the enable A pin to D1 of this uh, node MCU. So now we have done our connection. So now our motors are connected to our shield and the data pins are connected. So now we will connect our battery. 
so here i have this switch over here so what will i do i will connect the positive of the battery to the one terminal of the switch and i will connect the other terminal of the switch to here we have 12 volt pin let me tell you it will not be visible for you this is the 12 volt pin this is the ground and this is the 5 volt pin so as our battery is supplying more than 5 volts it is about uh, 8 volts so we'll connect it to the 12 volt pin let me connect it so we have connected the positive of the battery through this switch to the 12 volt pin of, uh, of the motor driver so now we will directly connect the negative of the batteries to the ground of the motor driver right so our batteries are connected to this shield now we also have to power this um, node mcu so here as you can see we have two pins the vn and the ground so we will supply this 8 volts to vn and ground so for this i'm using these two jumper wires male to male the red one will be for vn and the orange one will be foreground right so disconnected now we will connect the positive which is the vn to this pin and we will connect the ground to the ground so now our connections are done so let's have a look at our code so let's connect our node mcu to laptop our node mcu is connected as you can see the light over there so here this is our code here we have included the esp8266 wi-fi library so here this is the ssid which means the name of your wi-fi so here this is the name of my wi-fi you can change it to the name of your wi-fi and after this uh, we have the password so this is the password of uh, my wi-fi you can change it to your wi-fi and here we have the pins motor left and motor right so the motor left pins are enable a and one and two enable a is to set the speed of the motor so here enable a is connected to d1 and n1 is connected to d2 and two is connected to d3 and here these are the pins of right motor so enable b is connected to d4 and 3 is connected to d5 and n4 is connected to d6 after this we have the wi-fi server we have some function so here this is the uh, move forward function so what will this function do this will turn all the motors in the forward direction and this is the speed so the speed range is 0 to 1023 and here i have here the speed is also 1023 as both the motors will move and high speed after this we have the move right function so and the move right function what will we do we will move the left motor with uh, higher speed and we will move the right motor and the low speed so the car will turn right right and similarly we have the move left function and we have the move backward function and also we have the stop car function which will stop the car so after this we have the serial begin we have declared all the pins as outputs and we have the function and we have the lines to connect to our wi-fi and here and here we have some serial print and here we are connecting our node mcu to the wi-fi and after this we will check for the condition so if the app android app will send car f so the motors will move forward as we have called the function move forward and if the the app will send car right so it will move right and same is the case with all of them so now let's upload the port let us uh, select the port it is port 6 and let's upload it so it is uploaded so after uploading i will open the serial monitor to get the ip 
For this, I will press the key reset on the Node MCU. And here, as you can see, this is our IP. So, note down this IP address. Now, let me show you the app. So, here, this is our app. This is the front end, and this is the back end. As you can see, we have five buttons, and I have defined the function of all the five buttons. I'll give the link for the app and the project file in the description along with the code. So, now let's test our car. So, this is our car. I have placed the battery over it. Now, let's start it. It is started as you can see the LED over there. So let's wait for some seconds so that it gets connected to the Wi Fi. And this is our app. So now our car is connected to the Wi Fi. Let's uh, let's move it forward. So as you can see, it is moving forward. Let's stop it. It is stopped. Now let's move it to the right. Let's move it forward. Stop it. Oh, Great. let's move it backwards. It was all about this. I hope that you will have liked the video. If you like it, so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you.